in this bible people had their situations turned overnight they slept as prisoners and by the end of the next day they were in the palace whilst you pray please let your heart be open god you are able to do this for your business for your life for your children don't be silent are we together lift your voice and we're going to pray in the spirit for some time praise the lord this this is a personal affair just take some time you're not a man you're not a man no. pray you're the god who opens doors no man can shut My life must change. My destiny must reveal the glory, the power, the grace of God. Those who are following from whatever nation, please take time to pray. Participate, follow in prayer. platform angels are in the building distributing gifts as everyone will need angels are in the building reaching out to people angels are in the building lays his hands upon people visiting people 
The fire of God is in this auditorium right now. The glory of Jehovah. There are seven people. The Lord said, I want to change your garment. The garment of the Lord will fall upon you right now. There are about seven people right now. A new garment will fall upon you right now. A heavy garment of the Holy Ghost. Raise your two hands to heaven. Raise your two hands to heaven, everybody. Lord, let there be a release of your glory. Release of your grace. Let your power flow in the name of Jesus. From the crown of our head to the toe of our feet. In the name of Jesus. One of the people receiving that garment, when it come upon you, sickness will disappear. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. 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 Today, the glory of God will impart every man, every woman in this sanctuary. Every man, every woman in this sanctuary. You're going to raise your voice and you're going to ask the Father to give you a new garment. You're going to ask the Father to give you a new garment. You're going to ask the Father to give you a new garment. After the third time, the Lord wants to clothe people with a new garment. The power of God is here right now. The power of God is here right now. To my left hand side, the Lord is clothing somebody. Raise your voice and say, Father. Raise your voice. Say, Father. Give me a new garment. Some people are wearing a new garment. In the name of Jesus, it's removing garment of shame, removing garment of sickness, removing garment that is not supposed to be. Raise your voice, say, Father, give me a new garment. The power of God is upon you right now. The glory of God is upon you right now. The glory of God is upon you right now. Visiting you with a new garment. 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 Receive. In the name of Jesus. Raise your voice 44 times. Say, Father, give me a new garment. Receive in the name of Jesus. Receive in the name of Jesus. Raise your two hands to heaven. To heaven everywhere. Silence everywhere. Just the keyboard. The garment of the Lord is upon you right now. Somebody can feel like fire upon your hands right now. The Lord is imparting you with a new garment. Receive in the name of Jesus. Aha. 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 God is baptizing some people with new spiritual gifts. Receive right now. Aha. Aha. Get ready behind there. The power of God is here. When I shout, when I shout, new garment, say I receive. New garment. Aha. Take it in the name of Jesus. Take it in the name of Jesus. Ushers, help them, help them, help them. Right at my back there. In the name of Jesus. The power of God is there. In the name of Jesus. Ramakatoke porabakashatayada. Removing garment of sickness. Somebody, somebody, the garment has been upon you, evil garment, tormenting your dream in the name of Jesus. New garment, receive, 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 receive. Someone you have been troubled about your business since this year I began, you have been going backward. The garment of favor is coming upon you right now. Let the power of God move, 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 move. When I say new garment, see how I receive. Shout, shout, I receive. Receive new garment. Aha. Let the power of God fill this atmosphere. In the name of Jesus. Please bring that lady in the choir. Let me lay my hands upon you. The hand of the Lord is coming upon you. Bring that lady here. Let me lay my hands upon her. The Lord said, I'm blocking where the, your oil is leaking away. That's what the Lord is saying to me. When I shout new garment, shout I receive. Seven more people. Re receive new garment. Receive new garment. Aha. Father, perform your word. That the power of God come upon you. Fresh fire upon your soul. In the name of Jesus. Fresh fire upon your soul. In the name of Jesus. Let fresh fire come upon your soul. 
in the name of Jesus. Receive new garment. Whenever the oil is leaking, let the Holy Ghost block it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The blessing of the Lord wants to come upon some people's hands. Stretch your two hands to the altar, please. The blessing of the Lord. The blessing of the Lord we that, pray. We out, the, the, that we outweigh the pronouncement of your progenitors. I is pray about to come our upon fire you right will not die in the name of Jesus. There's an anointing and impartation to move you higher. Somebody Thank you for joining. God bless you. Sin. If you can like, hear my voice, just raise your voice and begin to give God praise. Begin to adore him. Thank him for his faithfulness. Thank him for his mighty works. Thank him for his grace upon your life. Go ahead and lift up the name of Jesus. My sister, my brother, lift up the name of Jesus. Beckon on other people to dive in that the prayers are started. This is a unique prophetic prayer. This is a unique prophetic season. Go ahead and invite other people to dive in. Go ahead and give him praise. If you can hear my voice, give him praise. On this altar of remembrance, this weekend that we are here again this Saturday, go ahead and give God your best praise. Somebody give God your best praise in the name of Jesus. As usual, once again, I'd like you to type a name prophetically in the chat. Call him the Rose of Sharon. Call him my defender. Call him the one that lifted up my head. My lifter. Call him your savior. Call him your redeemer. Call him your restorer. I'd like you to begin to give God praise. My auntie, please be part of what we are doing. Brother, be part of what we are doing. Type it in the chat. Type a name. Type a name to give God praise. What has he done for you? Call him your healer. Or what do you, what do you believe him to do? Either what he has done or what you believe him to do. Go ahead and type it there. Type it in the chat and take a moment. Invite other people. Invite other people. Send the link. Put it. Don't be selfish about this prayer line. I want you to be benevolent enough to share the link. Put it on your status. Broadcast it to people. Invite them to be part of what God is doing right now. Go ahead and type the name in the chat. Give him praise. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' precious name we pray. We are going to do that again. Some people have, they, they didn't join us yet. You are hearing my, the sound of my voice. I'd like you to take another minute to give God your best praise. You're going to give him your best praise and type a name of the Lord in the chat. Let him, if you are believing God for a completion, call him the, the Omega. The Alpha is started, it will be your Omega. Call him a name, call him a name, call him a name. Go ahead and type it in the chat. Who is it to you? Who is it to you? Call him, call him, call him, call him, call him, call him, call him. Go ahead and give him praise. Give him praise, give him praise, give him praise, give him worship. Give him praise. Give him worship. Give him the fruit of your lips. Give him the fruit of your lips. Fruit of your lips, my friend. Give him the fruit of your lips. Oh, give him the fruit of your lips. You are on the altar of remembrance and the God of Israel will meet with you. Go ahead, my friend. Rani Gabala Bade Shepele Gado Liga Ruzo Braba Katekete Jelebreketo Kosopa Rabakande Lebosof Radi Magabagado Zobrabakata In Jesus' name we pray.
Somebody say better amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Welcome again to the altar of remembrance, the altar of power, the altar of testimony, the altar of deliverance. The altar of lifting up, the altar where you receive your testimony. And I pray that the God of Israel will hear your voice. Say amen to that. I say the God of Israel will hear your voice. Today I am ready. I am fully ready. My spirit is fired up, ready to, re to, re to receive my miracle. i like you to like the video and declare, Today God will encounter me and my family like the video my friend like the video click like today god we encounter me and my family as you are hearing my voice the god of israel we encounter you the god of israel we encounter your family the god of israel we encounter your life the god of israel we encounter you god we encounter you in the name of jesus I'd like you to raise your voice and pray. Say, Father, on this altar of remembrance, meet me at the point of my needs. That's your prayer point. On this altar of remembrance, Father, meet me at the point of my need. This is a good time for you to share the link, spread the link, send it to people, put it on your status, send it to someone to be part of what is going on right now. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, my friend, go ahead, my friend. It will meet you at the point of your needs in the name of Jesus. The God of Israel will meet with you. In Jesus' name, we pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. Briefly today, we are just praying. As the Lord has given to us, briefly, we are praying today. The Lord has said, this is our declaration today. My axe head is found. My axe head is found. Say it with me. Please say it with me loud and clear. Either you are in your room, you are you're driving, you are lying down, you are sitting down. Declare, say, my axe head is found. From wherever you are connecting from, I'd like you to declare again, my axe head is found. Say it on behalf of your children, your grandchildren. My axe head is found. Concerning your ministry that you want a headway, career headway, your marital headway, declare, my axe head is found. Can I hear you say it one more time on Facebook, on YouTube? You are just joining us. Say, my axe head is found. I pray in the name of Jesus. I pray your axe head will be found. You know the story very well. You know that, that story in 2 Kings chapter 6. You know the, the people of God desire to move forward. These sons of prophet desire to be expanded. It came to a time that they discovered that where they were was too small. They were asking Elijah, can we expand? They were desirous of promotion. They were longing for increase. They were longing to be promoted just like many of you including me here we are praying for elevation we are praying for divine advancement we are praying that we will leave the level where we are to where we should be and this is the same thing that these sons of prophets were longing for and it came to pass as at the time they were trying to this exp they were trying to make this expansion trying to fetch a tree trying to trying to try to reach their goal they are stretching their hands to reach their goal and suddenly the accent became lost the accent went into the river you know the story my brother you know the story my sister you knew the miracle that happened that eventually their accent was found i pray for everyone listening to me everyone saying amen from the depth of their heart everyone connecting by faith on this platform your accent will be found i say your accent will be found i say your accent will be found your axe head will be found. Your axe head will be found. Your axe head, your axe head is that pivot of achievement. Your axe head is that point of establishment. Your axe head is what you need to, to step you into success. Whatever represents the axe head in your life and destiny, I declare, as we are here on this altar of remembrance, the God of Israel will hear your voice. And your accent will be found in the name of Jesus. I say it again. The God of Israel will hear your voice. And in the name of Jesus, God, that 
you, your heart said will be found. Listen, what are the expectations when you pray this kind of prayer? What are the things that we are looking for? Look at your screen. L listen, number one, you are going to be praying where I have failed in time past. I will succeed exceedingly in Jesus' name. Somebody needs to pray that prayer. Now, where I have labored, I have made attempt in time past and failed. I pressed the button before it never worked. My son, my daughter, a member of the ministry, a member of my church, somebody that, that they, they, they attempted and failed this time around because of the grace of God. In the name of Jesus, will now succeed. Listen, these sons of the prophet, they were attempting to succeed, but they failed. But eventually, they, they succeeded. You're going to be declaring that in the name of Jesus, where I have failed before, I will succeed exceedingly. Where I have missed it before, where I have been delayed before, you are tempted in that property business. You are tempted in that schooling business. You are tempted that relationship. You are tempted that job. You are tempted even your spiritual life. Wherever you have failed before, now you are going to succeed exceedingly. My friend, you are going to succeed exceedingly. That's one of our prayer focus. That in the name of Jesus, where I have failed before, where I have failed in time past, where I have missed in the time past, that in the name of Jesus, I will now succeed. I will succeed. She Jonathan will succeed. I will succeed. I will succeed. Where I have committed error before, where I have missed it before, I will now succeed. I'm asking that the power of God will go through this camera, we go through this live streaming, we go through through to anyone that is connecting to me or will connect that in the name of Jesus receive grace to succeed. I say receive grace to succeed. Declare receive grace to succeed. I declare by your life receive grace to succeed. I declare re I re receive grace to succeed. Somebody declare say I receive grace to succeed. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Look at it. That is what the Lord will be doing for us. Where we have failed before. Where we have attempted before. You made that application before. They bounced you and rejected you. Now you'll be accepted. And we're going to be praying again. What else will be happening as we recover our axe head today? I will recover every good thing that I've lost in Jesus' name. Can we say it together? Everybody, everybody, on the dot of three, you are going to say it with me. Get ready. Everyone, on the dot of three, you are going to read that number two with me. You're going to say it loud and clear with the whole of your might. One, two, three, go. I recover every good thing I have lost in Jesus' name. Say it for the second time. I recover every good thing I have lost in Jesus' name. For the third time, it's a prayer bullet. Say it. I recover every good thing I have lost in in Jesus name just simply like we are saying it like that like the child's play as we are saying it just uh, just merely like that you are recovering it it's coming back your grace is coming back your anointing is coming back your home is coming back your finance is coming back the house is coming back oh oh that perfect health you used to enjoy before is coming back health without using medication that you are enjoying your life is coming back it's coming back you are recovering your peace in the name of jesus you are recovering your peace and i will restore all the years that the locusts and kankawam has eaten oh my great army i missed you i will restore that's what god is doing for you somebody declare it again say i recover i recover every good thing i have lost in jesus name i recover every good thing i have lost in jesus name you are just joining us now as you step into this live stream recover 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 it that thing you lost that is making you sad that job opportunity you did the first interview second interview third interview you wrote a test you are you are almost there and you lost it the lord is saying you will recover in the name of jesus 
we will recover in the name of Jesus. Look at the third one we're going to pray. This one you pray violently. This one is an onslaught on the camp of the enemy. This one you wear your boxing glove and assault every assaulter. This one you recover. Listen, number three, we are reading that together. It says, my buried blessings. It's a command. Listen, my buried blessings arise and locate me by fire in Jesus' name. How wild was he buried? There are some forces. There are some powers. There there are some militating forces that bury those blessings. Wherever they are, you are recovering them now. Let's read it together on the on the third, on the on, on one, two, three, go. You read it. You read it, my very blessing. Arise and look at me by fire in Jesus' name. You do it with the love of your mouth. You open your mouth. Is a do it yourself prayer. Is a do it yourself prayer. Let's go. One, two, three, go. My very blessings arise and locate me by fire in Jesus name say it one more time join me to say it my buried blessings arise and locate me by fire in Jesus name for the third time can we say it by faith let's go my buried blessings arise and locate me by fire in Jesus' name, begin to declare, begin to declare, declare it on behalf of your children, declare it over your church members, declare it over the ministry, declare it over your house, declare it in your place of work, declare it spiritually, declare it in the land that you are living. You are a, you are a mig- you are an immigrant, you, are, you left your own country, you are in that land, that, and you have blessings that are buried that is supposed to be in your hands. Begin to declare, begin to declare, begin to declare on. On this prayer line of my accent is found declare declare my buried blessing arise locate me arise locate me arise locate me arise locate me arise locate me. i thought you would be more militant than this i thought you would do it better than this oh locate me locate me locate me locate me locate me locate me wherever the blessing is all over the world oh mention your pro- mention your location oh wherever my blessing is all over the world locate me here in Calgary. oh we wherever locate me in Athens, wherever locate me in Cairo, wherever my blessing is all over the world, I say locate me in Ibadan, wherever locate me in Accra, wherever this blessing is, oh locate me here in Holland, locate me, locate me, locate me, locate me, locate me, locate me, like the video, click like and say locate me, locate me, locate me, locate me, locate me, locate me, locate my spouse, locate my wife, locate my husband, Look at my children. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Cry on Facebook. Cry on YouTube. Say it. Say, look at me. 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 Use your mouth. Do it yourself. Pray. Say in the name of Jesus. My blessings. My blessings. My blessings from the north from the south, from the east, from the west. Look at me in Lagos. Look at me here in Belkuta. Look at me. Look at me here in Kumasi. Look at me. Look at me in London. Look at me here. Look at me in Halifax. Look at me wherever. Wherever you are hearing the sound of my voice, declare. Say in the name of Jesus, my blessing arise and look at me now. Arise and locate me now. Locate me. He's locating you. He's locating you. Sister, your husband is locating you now. Locating you now. Your blessing is locating you now. Locating you now. Locating you now. Locating you now. In this month of March, the third month of the year, oh God. Maliba buro budu pakuta paruzo vranika toshketekede. Is locating you now. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Mommy, receive it. Daddy, receive it. Sister, receive it. Uncle, receive it. As a family, receive it. I say, receive it. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. So it will be in Jesus' name we pray. Say threefold amen, my friend. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Somebody declare again, say, my axe act is found. Join me to say, type it, type it, type it, Facebook, YouTube, like the video, type it, say, my axe act is found. Look at it now. The scripture, 2 Kings, chapter 6, verse number 6. The Bible says there, and the men of God said, 
where fell it and he showed him the place and he cut down a stick and cast it in and the iron did swim the iron did swim the iron did swim look at the miracle here <laughs> How can the heavy iron that sank down to the bottom of the river, they just cut a stick, put it in the river, and the iron swam. That's a miracle, my friend. That's a miracle. Ah, I pray in the name of Jesus everyone hearing the sound of my voice uh, experience a miracle everyone hearing me experience a miracle everyone connecting experience a miracle i pray experience a miracle in that your house experience what is called a miracle oh you have not shared anything called a miracle since this year started i declare i join my faith with you experience a miracle all that you have been seeing is just the regular things you go to work make your pay pay your rent and just do things regularly oh i pray in the name of jesus oh god will interrupt the law of nature and you will experience a miracle ah i will experience a miracle you are joining me hearing my voice may you experience a miracle in the name of jesus when people are saying what is a miracle you will tell them come to my home let me show you i declare may you experience a miracle the bible says the iron swamp these people they lost their axe head they lost the cutting edge of their life they lost the instrument of their war of, of, of their welfare they lost their sustenance they lost that token of expansion they wanted to expand they wanted to increase they wanted to go to higher height but what they are using what they are supposed to use to go to higher heights lost but there was a miracle and they recover it you're going to pray from the heart of that scripture when well, i'm reading it again to you the bible says the man of god asked them can you tell me where this thing fell they pointed the, the place and they cut down the stick and they recovered the iron head Act head. You're going to pray. Say in the name of Jesus, I recover my axe head. Everything that represents the axe head in my life, where I should be. Oh, at this age, there's some things that I should be achieving at this age. Oh, I recover my axe head. Begin to pray for recovery now. Say in the name of Jesus, I pray for recovery. Oh, oh God, I pray for recovery. In the name of Jesus, I pray for recovery. Recovery of my glory. Recovery of my honor. Recovery of my, of my doing well. Recovery of my promotion. In the name of Jesus, whatever should take me to higher height that is not yet in my hands, I pray for the recovery. Listen, there is something that should be in your hand that will bring success pray for recovery of that thing pray for recovery of that thing the bible says if that thing is not in your hand you will have to be sweating you have to be laboring imagine if these people have to be cutting down the tree with their hands they will be laboring because there is no axe head look at how the bible puts it i'm going to put it on the screen ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse number 10 ecclesiastes 10 verse 10 it says if the iron is blunt and you do not wet the edge then he must put more strength there are many of us who are putting so much strength so much labor and little reward oh but wisdom is profitable to direct wisdom is that you should pray wisdom is that you should labor in the place of prayer look at it look at how the how the message version says it the message version says say, remember the dollar the axe the other the work use your head the more brains the less muzzle listen he said the dollar the axe the 
under the work. That means when our axe head is not in place, that means when our axe head is not sharpened, then we have to labor. Oh, I pray every form of labor laws I cancel over, over the life of everyone that is connecting. Labor laws, I cancel it. Labor, the Bible says, Isaiah 65 verse 23, it says you will not labor in vain. You will not bring forth for trouble. I pray every form of labor laws we cancel, we cancel, we cancel, we cancel, we cancel. In the name of Jesus, it says if the axe head is blunt, then you have to keep putting more effort. Say in the name of Jesus, my father, I step into ease now. Somebody declared, I step into ease. I step into ease. Oh, a moment of ease. A moment of ease. Step into it now. Step into it now. Everybody hearing the sound of my voice, I say, step into it now. In the name of Jesus, every single person, all the 50 people on YouTube now, I speak over your life and your family now. Let this 2022 be a year of ease. In the name of Jesus, like the video and shout amen. I'd like you to share the link and call other people to be partakers of this anointing because grace is being released now. We release the grace for ease. Grace for ease. Grace for ease. Type it in the chat. I, re I receive the grace for ease. In the name of Jesus, your accent will not be blunt. 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 In the name of Jesus, listen, listen. For this promotion, many of us are desirous of higher height. That's the same thing happened to this. Um, stands of the prophet. Let's read the, the beginning of the story actually. The Bible says in verse 1, from verse 1 of that chapter, he said the company of the prophet said to Elisha, look the place where we met, where we meet with you is too small for us. Many of us are thinking this salary is too small. Many of us are thinking oh this grace, this anointing is too small. Many of us are thinking this, uh, this life is average. Oh this my children, how they are, things are too average and you are believing God for promotion. I pray that promotion will happen. I, I, I believe God with you it will happen. These people said they had to tell the prophet where I am is too small. It is too small. At this age this is not the level that I should be. So many they are desirous praying for promotion. These people point to the prophet. Look at it on your screen. He says where we are is too small. The place where we meet with you is too small. That was what fueled their desire to go into the bush. That was what fueled their desire to start looking for, 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 for a tree to cut down. It's because they wanted expansion. I pray in the name of Jesus, my friend. Oh, my friend. That desire in your heart. That desire to be expanded. That desire to be promoted. That desire to be lifted. That desire to, to, that desire to be established will happen to you. That desire for settlement it will happen to you that goal in your heart it will happen to you in the name of jesus the cry of your heart that where you are is too small god will hear it god will hear it somebody declare say in the name of jesus the desire for expansion in my heart of my heart will be granted say, say, say it again say it again declare say that the desire to be promoted will be granted. Say, my desire will be granted. I don't know what your own desire it is. It will be granted. I say, it will be granted. I say, it will be granted. I declare, it will be granted. It will be granted. Your desire be granted. Your desire be granted. Spiritual desire be granted. Financial desire be granted. Desire concerning your health be granted. I say, be granted. Your desire over your children be granted. In the name of Jesus, be granted. I say, be granted. In the name of Jesus, be granted. In the name of Jesus, be granted. In the name of Jesus. Listen, I'd like you to the next two minutes. I'm going to be leaving you to now begin to declare. You are going to prophetically, you are going to take a prophetic action. Now listen to me very well. These people, the, the prophet did a miracle for them. You remember. Let's back up a little. You remember in verse 6, is is verse 6, chapter 6, verse 6, the Bible says, the prophet said, where did the accent fell? And they showed him, and he put a stick, and the iron swam. That is a miracle. Do you believe it? That was already a miracle. The iron swam. 
but after the iron has come to the surface the people of god now to need to take a step of faith this is where we are going now you now need to take a step of faith already by coming to the prayer line today your axe head has swum to the top already your axe head has floated already the axe head has floated but there is a corresponding action that you need to take there's a corresponding action of prayer corresponding action of stepping out corresponding action of giving corresponding action of prophecy corresponding action of praise that you need to take listen 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 i'm going to put on your screen verse number seven the next verse let's read together after the accent came to the surface what's the next thing that happened look at what the prophet said the prophet now says he said therefore he said pick it up for yourself so canta parabadis kataya. God has done his own part. The prophet threw a stick and the iron floated. But verse 7 says, Pick it up for yourself. Your accent is already found. You need to now pick it up. So he reached out his hand and did what? And took it. Oh, some people miss that part. He reached out his hand and did what? And took. I like you to pr- concentrate. You came to the prayer line to, to 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 receive from the Lord. Anything trying to push you to leave now is an attack from the devil. Focus now. See, he said he reached out his hand and took it. That means after a miracle of floating happened, you still have to now pick it up. So the next two minutes, my friend, violently where you are now, you are going to be crying. You are going to be shouting. You are going to be praying. This one you have been praying inside. You are thinking the prayer. You can't do that now. You are going to be articulating the prayer. Begin to pick it up now. I pick up my appointed letter. I want you to begin to write it. What are you picking it up? What are you picking up? Write it in the chat now. I pick up my letter letter of offer. I pick up my offer of employment. I pick up my good health. I pick up my husband. I pick up my wife. I pick up my marriage. I pick up the twins that will be pregnant with. I pick up fruitfulness. Somebody type it in the chat. What are you picking up? Somebody have me type that scripture there. Second Kings chapter 6 verse 7. Begin to pick it up now. For the next two minutes, don't keep quiet. That's why we came on this prayer line. Say, I pick up my good health i pick it i said pick it up for yourself say i pick up my testimony i pick it up i pick up my healing i pick up i took the bible say he reached out his hand and took it i pick up my blessing i take my blessing i take my healing i take my good health i take my promotion i take him oh i take it you want to become a manager you want to become a team leader i take up the new position oh you want you want grace you want settlement i take up my settlement i take up my establishment i take it up i take it up i take it up i take it you are just joining us now you are wondering what they are doing here oh i like you to pray say in the name of jesus i take up my document i take up my letter i pick up my passport i pick up my certificate i pick up my residency i pick up my citizenship i pick up i pick it up i pick it up i pick it up i take it i take it begin to take i've told you i warned you the next two minutes is prayer pray pray in the name of jesus i pick up new customers i pick up new students to come and register in my school i pick up new clients i pick up new contract i pick it up my friend pick it up my friend pick it up i pick it up i pick up my promotion i pick up my multiplication i pick it up 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 believing god for a relocation type it there i pick it up i pick it up I pick up my relationship. I pick up my husband. Write it there. Type it there. Professor, professor, professor. Pick up new brain for your child. Oh, you are come. So there, there's an issue concerning your children. I pick it up. I. Pick 
pick it up. I 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 pick up my testimony. I pick up my testimony. The prophet told them, he said, oh, he said, pick it up for yourself. So he reached out his hand and took it. My friend, your accent has floated. Oh, your accent has been found. Your lost accent has been found. Begin to pick it up. 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 In the name of Jesus, he took a tree, tree it in the river, and the accent floated. I pray. I pray. I pray whatever has been lost is floating back to you in the name of Jesus. You know this same scenario was what we read. We read it in next one. This same scenario was when the water was bitter. He cried to the Lord and the Lord showed him a tree which when he has cast into the water it was this same tree they, they cast into the water. They cast the, the tree again into the river. The, the tree made the water to be sweet. Oh, there is this Jesus called the tree of life. There is this Jesus called the tree of life. He's the one that is being, he's the one that's intervening your bitter situation. He's the one that is recovering your lost, uh, your lost axe head. Oh, he's the tree of life. He's the tree of righteousness. I want you to pray. Say in the name of Jesus, every bitterness in my life turn to sweetness now in the name of Jesus oh God of heaven king of glory turn my situation around turn my situation around turn my situation around turn my situation around listen listen when they threw the stick into the river the river did not have a choice but to 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 expunge the accent the river did not have a choice but to vomit the accent. When they threw the tree, it didn't have a choice. But ah, your miracle is being vomited to you now. Somebody click like on the video. You just join us now. Click like on the video. Ah, your miracle is being vomited to you. Vomited to you. In the name of Jesus. You know, I told you in the beginning, you're going to be recovering lost blessing. You're going to be recovering lost blessing. Receive it now. Receive it now. I'm going to read to you Job chapter 20, verse number 15, popular scripture. The Bible says, He has swallowed down riches and He shall vomit them up again. God shall cast them out of his belly the same way that river vomited the accent. Imagine a large ocean of river. If not by the power of God, how would the accent float? The river had to vomit it. Oh, every power that has swallowed down your riches, every power that has swallowed down your property, that has swallowed down your houses, that has swallowed down what belongs to you, I command, let them vomit them to you now. Vomit them to you now. The Bible says God shall cast them out of his belly. Say, my God, my God, call him. Say, my God, call him, call him. Say, my God, louder. Say, my God, say it. Say, my God, cast them out of the belly. Say, cast them out of the belly of the river. Whatever, wherever my miracle is buried, wherever my testimony is buried, where my visa is buried, where my, my where my offer of employment is buried, where my money is buried, I command, let it be vomited now, be vomited now, be vomited now, be vomited now. Be vomited now. My permit where is buried be vomited now my settlement where is buried be vomited now in the name of jesus oh he will swallow down riches he has swallowed down riches job 20 15 he will vomit them he will vomit them he's vomiting them back vomiting them back he will vomit them every power holding on to my axe head every power holding on to my miracle every power holding on to my testimony every power holding on to my increase vomit now vomit now vomit now vomit now vomit now you have made an application to a company oh the hr they are still holding it it's been weeks you made application no reply say in the name of jesus let them vomit my offer of employment in the name of jesus vomit my offer vomit my contract vomit my clients vomit the customers vomit vomit them vomit them vomit Commit them. I will handle my testimony in the name of Jesus. Somebody declared, say, I will handle my testimony. Say, 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 I will handle 
my testimony. Somebody say it, say it. I will handle my testimony. Listen, every power that wants to say you won't do it, God will deal with them. Oh, hey, what did I say? God will deal with them. I say, what did I say? What did I say? Somebody type the answer. What did I say? What will God do? He will deal with them mercilessly. Everyone that thought they want, everyone that think they want to slow your destiny down, anyone that want to be a limitation, that want to cause a barrier, that want to be a far out in your journey, that want to cause complication in your life, every power that say that oh, what they, they, they didn't achieve in your parents' life, they want to start in your own life, every demonic power, God will punish them. God will deal with them in the name of Jesus. I, what did I say? God will, he will deal with them. He will deal with them in the name of Jesus. He will deal with them. Oh, he will deal with them holding your miracle, holding your testimony, holding your breakthrough. God will deal with them. Let me read on to you uh, here. One of the scriptures uh, in Gen Jeremiah chapter 51, Jeremiah 51 verse 44, and it says, and I will punish bear in Babylon, one of the spirits in Babylon. I will punish bear in Babylon, and I will bring forth out of his mouth that which he has swallowed up. Every altar, every oracle, every, every, every power that has swallowed down your grace, your miracle, your wife, your husband, your houses, your money, your anointing, oh, your good health. The Lord said, I will punish Baal in Babylon and I will bring forth out of his mouth that which he has swallowed up you want to pray 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 now say in the name of jesus every power holding on to my miracle god oh god punish them say oh god punish them show no mercy say every power holding on click like on this video and pray this prayer click like on the video and pray this prayer Say in the name of Jesus, every power holding down my blessing, holding down my going forward. I say in the name of Jesus, let God punish you. Let God punish you in the name of Jesus. Every stubborn pharaoh, every stubborn spirit in the name of Jesus, like the bell of Babylon that is holding on to my promotion, holding on to where I should go to. Uh -uh. I say in the name of Jesus, the Bible says he will pull it out of your mouth. You will you have to swallow it you have to you have to vomit it oh whatever you have swallowed oh oh my lip ready kato kapaya bakataya everything that has swallowed down my destiny my glory you have to vomit them god will punish you like the bell of babylon in the name of jesus radebo supakata i receive my miracle somebody declare i receive my miracle declare i receive my miracle say i receive restoration say it say it say it say it. some people are not saying it say it say i receive my restoration i receive my restoration every power every power that has swallowed down my miracle they are releasing it to me now in the name of jesus every everything that i have lost my access has been found somebody say it say it. you know the bible says and these people are robbed and spoiled these people isaiah 42 22 and this is a people robbed and spoiled they are all of them them snared in holes and they are hid in prison houses. They are for a prey and none deliver it for a spoil and none see it to restore. Don't be like that tonight. You will say restore. He said nobody say restore. Can I have people shouting restore? Somebody type it say restore. Say restore. Houses restore. Money restore. Relationship restore. Destiny help us restore. Good health restore. Somebody type restore somebody shout to restore somebody believe god for restoration believe god for restoration type restore say restore your life is changing is restoring your axe air is found say my father restore my lost axe head pray 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 my father oh my father raise your voice say oh my father say it louder oh my father restore my lost axe head in the name of Jesus. Oh, oh, my father, restore my lost accent. In the name of Jesus. Pray one more time. Oh, my father, restore my lost accent. In the name of Jesus. God is turning things around. Uh, God is turning things around. Oh, I can see everything turning around. Uh, 
Everything turning around. Everything turning around for your good. Say it with me. I can see everything turning around. Ah, over Shion Jonathan turning around. Over my life turning around for my good. I can see everything turning around. Turning around. Turning around. For my good. Listen, the word of the Lord for you, my friend, as a family. Behold, you will do a new thing. It will spring forth. It will make a road even in the wilderness. This is a word for Sheon Jonathan. This is a word for me. Where I think there is no road right now, he's making a way. My friend, where you think there is no road now, he's making a way. Is restoring your health, restoring your money, restoring your relationships, restoring your life, restoring your grace. In the name of Jesus, uh, everything turning around and you will testify in the name of Jesus. I say you will testify in the mighty name of Jesus. Give God your best praise for one minute. Give him your best praise for one minute. One minute. One minute. Give him, give him, give him, give him your best praise. Give him your best praise. You know I love that scripture, the Living Bible, for about Anna in First Samuel chapter two, verse one to two. He said, "How oh, I rejoice in the Lord! How He has blessed me! So rejoice, rejoice! How oh, I rejoice in the Lord! How He has blessed me! Now I have an answer for my enemies. <laughs> for the Lord has solved my problem. If you believe the Lord has solved your problem, rejoice, rejoice! In fact, you can type. He said, "The Lord has solved my problem." Oh, you can say it. You can tell your neighbor. You can prophesy. Husband, you can tell your wife. <laughs> wife, tell husband. Tell your children. Tell your friends. Auntie, tell, it, tell them. The Lord has solved my problem. Give him praise. I'd like you to join your faith with me as I declare. If you can carry your device in your hand and stand on your feet. No matter how weak you are, if you can try, just stand as I prophesy. The Lord sent me on this platform. I didn't send myself. So I am declaring, I'm joining my faith with you right now. Father, I give you God. I give you praise. You are the God of all flesh, the same yesterday, today, and forever. The Lord that never changes. The immortality that dwells in unapproachable light, who no one has seen or can ever see. Lord, we worship. We worship. I declare over my friends, my brothers, my sisters, everyone on the line, fathers and mothers, children, everyone connecting today. I pray your acts end be restored to you now. As your amen resound once again, your accent be restored to you, 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 be restored to you. The years you have wasted, be restored. The years the locust, the canker worm has eaten, be restored. Your grace, your anointing that has been wasted, be restored. That good brain that has been gone, be restored. That good health that has been lost, be restored. In the name of be restored. Lord, I pray every power, every river, every waters of life that has swallowed down your ass head. I command let the tree of life, Jesus the tree, as he enters the river to, to vomit them in the name of Jesus. The Bible says God shall cast them out of the belly. I pray every belly of the river where your money is now. The belly of the river where your testimony is. The belly of the river where your promotion is. The belly of the river where your increase is. The belly of the river where your properties are. The belly of the river where your increase is. The belly of the river where your anointing is. The belly of the river. I pray. Let God cast them out. Cast them out. Cast them out. I command. Let, the, let, let Whatever is holding down your blessing, vomit them. Vomit now. Vomit your miracle. Vomit your miracle. In the name of Jesus. The prophet told them. He said the miracle was already approved. He said the iron has floated. He said now reach out your hand and pick it up yourself. And he took it. I pray in the name of Jesus. As you stretch your hand now. I say you will reach your miracle. You will reach your testimony. You will reach your fruitfulness. You will reach your settlement. You will reach your visa. You will reach your healing. I pray you will reach it. You will reach it. You will reach your employment. You will reach your testimony. Your life is changing. No longer delayed no longer delayed your blessing no longer delayed i pray as you stretch your hands right now that's your hand stretch your hands prophetically receive your accent 
receive your access receive your access receive your access that your hand will not be empty in jesus name we pray a seven for the man amen 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 in the name of jesus somebody type it there my story we turn to glory your story we turn to glory in jesus mighty name we pray that will be your testimony in jesus name. thank you for joining the altar of remembrance let's give a seed to the lord a prophetic seed if never been part of this before let today be a day you'll be part of it it's a prophetic day give a seat on the altar of remembrance you know how to sow your seed it's all lined there all the information is there altar of remembrance at gmail.com send an interact in canada send a zell in the u.s you are in nigeria use that bank account you are in england use that anywhere in the world just go on that red line on that website use your card or use paper just sow a seat and connect and i pray your speed will speak for you i particularly encourage you if you have never maybe part of this platform or never been part of this Take a step of faith, do something different, and the God of Israel will visit you in the name of Jesus. I declare the new week you are going to, you will jam your accent that has been lost. Thank you for joining. Take this link and share it. Put it on your status. Send it to somebody. Follow Pastor Shil Jonathan on Instagram, and you'll be blessed. See you next weekend on the altar of remembrance. And God bless you abundantly in Jesus' name. Amen. <music>